Mrs. McGrath, the sergeant said, Would you like to make a soldier out of your son, Ted? With a scarlet coat and a big cocked hat. Now, Mrs. McGrath, wouldn't you like that with your two rye Well, the two today, two rye 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 Now, Mrs. McGrath lived on the same shore for the space of seven long years or more. Till she saw a big ship coming into the bay. Here's my son now, will you clear the way with your two rye Well, the two today, two rye 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 Oh, Captain dear, where have you been? Have you been on the Mediterranean? Have you any news of my son Ted? Is the poor boy living now or is he dead? With your two rye for the two today, two rye 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 Then up comes Ted without any legs, and in their place he had two wooden tags. She kissed him a dozen times or two, Saying glory be to God, sure it couldn't be you with your two rye, fall the doodle lay, two rye, you rye, you rye. Oh, were you drunk or were you blind when you left your two fine legs behind? Or was it walking on the same? Wore your two fine legs from the knees away with your two rye, fall the doodle lay, two rye, you rye, you rye. I wasn't drunk and I wasn't blind. Oh, when I left me two fine lengths behind. But a big cannonball on the 5th of May drove me two fine lengths from the knees away with your two rye. Fall the doodle day, two rye, you rye, you rye. Oh, Teddy dear, the widow cried, your two fine lengths were your mammy's pride. Them old stumps of a tree won't do at all. Why didn't you run from the big cannonball with your two rye? Fall the doodle day. Do rye, you rye, you rye. All foreign war I do proclaim between Don Juan and the King of Spain. And be hens I'll make them rue the time that they cut the legs from a child of mine with your two rye. Fall the duke today. Do rye, you rye, you rye. Tim Finnegan lived in Walking Street, a gentleman Irish mighty odd. He had a brogue both rich and sweet. To rise in the world he carried a horn. But Tim had a touch of the tippler's way. With a love of the liquor he was born. And to send them on his way each day, he'd drop of the creature every morn. Work for the da, dance to your partner, went the floor with your trotter shake. Isn't it the truth? I told you lots of fun at Finnegan's awake. One morning Tim was a rather full. His head felt heavy, which made him shake. He fell from the ladder and he broke his skull. They took him home, his corpse to wake. They wrapped him up in a nice clean sheet, laid him out upon the bed, with a bucket of whiskey at his feet and a bottle of porter at his head. Whack for the da, dance to your partner, a wealth of blow with your trotter shake. Isn't it the truth? I challenge you lots of fun at Finnegan's awake. His friends assembled at the wake, and the Mrs. Finnegan called for lunch. First they brought in tang and cake, then pipes, tobacco and brandy punch. Mrs. Biddy O'Brien began to you ever see. Oh, Tim O'Born, why did you die? And I held your gum, says Molly McGee. Back for the da, dance to your partner, wet the floor with your trotter shake. Isn't it the truth? I told you lots of fun at Finnegan's awake. Then uh, Biddy Maloney took up the job. Biddy says she, you're wrong, I'm sure. But Biddy fetched her a belt and the gob, then left her sprawling on the floor. Civil war did then engage, woman to woman and man to man. Shillelagh law was on the rage, and a row and a ruction it soon began. Whack for the da, dance to your partner, or wet the floor with your trotter shake. Isn't it the truth? I told you lots of fun at Finnegan's wake. Tim Maloney ducked his head when a bucket of whiskey flew at him. 
he ducked and fallen on the bed. The whiskey scatters over Tim. Be dad, he revives and see how he rises. Finnegan rising in the bed, saying, Will your whiskey around like blazes? Hundred and jazes, do you think I'm dead? Whack for the dad, dance to your partner, while the blow with your trotter shake. Isn't it the truth? I told you lots of fun at Finnegan's wake. Attorneys are getting and the nights are growing dim and many's the day and night have passed but I have seen but I will make my bed and I lie in the cold cold for me bonny boy is young, but he's growing. Oh, father, dear father, you've done me much wrong. For you have married me to a lad that's far too young. He is only sixteen years and I am seventeen. And my bonny lad is young, but he's growing. Oh, daughter, dear daughter, sure I've done you no wrong. For I have married you to a noble farmer's son. He will be the man and you will be his queen. Your bonny boy is young, but he's growing. Then, father, dear father, I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll trim him a bonnet and a ribbon of blue. And all around his forehead, we'll put that ribbon through. For to let the people know, he was a married man, and when he was seventeen, he had gotten her a son. And at eighteen years, the grew over him. The trees are getting tall, and the nights are getting dim. And many's the day and night have passed that I have seen. I will make my bed and lie in the cold, cold land. For my bonny boy is young, but he's growing. <laughs> Eighteen sixty-nine being the date of the year, those Waterloo sportsmen and more did appear to gain the great prizes and to bear them away, never counting on Ireland and Master McGrath. On the twelfth of December, that day of renown, McGrath and his keeper they left Lurgan town. A gale in the channel it soon drove them o'er. On the thirteenth they landed on England's fair shore. And when they arrived there in a big London town, those great English sportsmen all gathered around, and one of them laughs with a scornful ha ha. Is that the great dog you call Master McGraw? And one of those gentlemen standing around said, I don't care a damn for your Irish greyhound. And another he laughs with a scornful ha ha. We'll soon handle the pride of your Master McGraw. Lord Lorgan stepped forward and said, Gentlemen, if there's any among you has money to spend, for you nobles of England, I don't care a straw. Here's five thousand to one upon Master McGrath. McGrath, he looked up 
and he wagged his owl tail. Me the foreman, he's a lordship, sure I know what you mean. Don't mind an old brown low, don't fear the McGrath. I'll soon tarnish their logs, says Master McGrath. Rose to them covered the great English pride. Her master and keeper were close by her side. They have let her away, and the crowd cries hurrah for the pride of all England and Master McGrath. As Rose and the master, they both ran along. Now I wonder, said Rose, what took you from your home? You should have stayed there in your Irish domain. Never come to gain laurels on now be plain. Well, I know, says McGrath, we have a way to have our thoughts. But you'll find in our Ireland there's good men and dogs. Lee down by Britannia, give none of your jaw. Shove that up your nostrils, says Master McGrath. The hare went on with a wonderful view. And swift o'er the green fields of England he flew. Rose gave the first turn in the card to law. For the second was given to be Master McGrath. The hare went on just as swift as the wind. He was sometimes before it and sometimes behind. But he jumped on our back and he held up his paw. Long live the Republic, says Master McGrath.